Today I'm going to show you how to release the supraspinatus, which is one of the muscles of the rotator cuff. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use pressure techniques, massage techniques on the supraspinatus. So the supraspinatus is a muscle of the rotator cuff that sits just above the ridge of your um, shoulder blade. So it's actually underneath the, the upper traps. If you grab your shoulder blade and you feel this, the, this horizontal bone of the shoulder blade, that's called the spine of the scapula, okay? If you bring, this is where mine is, right here. If you come up even just like a half an inch above that, and put pressure in there, that is the supraspinatus. A lot of people confuse tightness here with tightness in the upper traps, okay? Th these are the upper traps, this is the supraspinatus, okay? So make sure you understand that moving forward. Now this muscle is very uniquely shaped and is located in a weird spot too. Um, and because of that, because and because of other factors, it's not a very easy muscle to do a static stretch for. So because of that, we usually resort to massage techniques and pressure techniques. Now when this muscle becomes dysfunctional, it can be become a huge contributor to shoulder pain, okay? It's very common for people to overuse this muscle because of compensation patterns that they have, and eventually this muscle becomes dysfunctional, they develop tendonitis in there, or just severe tightness that causes shoulder pain and discomfort. If yours is overactive and tight, um, then we can basically inhibit it, shut it down a little bit so that it's not so overactive, which is, should give you relief. Now one really quick test that you can do on yourself just to find if this muscle is dysfunctional is just to put pressure directly into it with your fingertips, okay? If it's very, very tight and you do that, you'll definitely know that it's tight because it'll produce a lot of discomfort and you'll be able to feel the muscle tone with your fingers. So go ahead and do that. Remember, like I said, you put your hand on the spine of the scapula, which is this bony ridge that on, that's your shoulder blade. This is my bony ridge right here. Just go just north of that and then put pressure right down there, that is the supraspinatus. So one of the very first release techniques that you can do is actually just using your fingers, right? Um, it's honestly better to have somebody else do this, but you can do it yourself as well. Just put pressure right in there, okay? Just dig in there with your hand. Once you have pressure in there, you can actually start contracting this muscle just by abducting your arm like this, you actually get some contraction in there which will help you get some active release, right? So again, it's better to have somebody else do this, but just doing this for about a minute can produce some crazy results. However, it's a little bit awkward to reach across your shoulder and do that. You don't have a lot of leverage, you can't put a lot of pressure in there, and you know, you might get tight in other areas as a result of doing that. So what I'm going to show you now is a technique with a lacrosse ball that you can use to basically get the same result. So set up for this one, basically you're just going to take the lacrosse ball, you're going to put it down on the supraspinatus. So you might want to just put this like right on top of the shoulder blade. Find the shoulder blade, put this on top of it, okay? From here you're going to lean back, make sure that that, that ball is in the supraspinatus, not the upper traps, and then you can actually raise the arm out to the side like this, okay? Keeping pressure in that muscle. If you want a little bit more pressure, you can lift the hips up like this. But Basically, this is the same way to get that active release, okay, from before. Um, and yeah, you could do this on the side that is affected, on the supraspinatus that's infected or uh, affected. Um, and yeah, you can also do this with a theracane, okay? I really like a theracane for the for the supraspinatus. I forgot to bring mine here today, but with that thing you can really, really get in there very easily. And if you have a theracane, I'd recommend experimenting around in the supraspinatus area um, and see if you can provide yourself some relief. For all of these techniques, you can do about two to three sets of 30 seconds to a minute. Again, with all of these techniques, you want to make sure that you're on that supraspinatus, not the upper traps, okay? Um, so make sure that you're, you can identify the supraspinatus and, uh, you know, differentiate it from the upper traps. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and do that right over here. Also, please give this video a like and leave it a comment and even share it on Facebook or something like that. The more you do that, the, the more this video becomes visible here on YouTube and it really helps the channel out. And I would appreciate that.
If you haven't downloaded my free ebook, Posture the Ultimate Life Hack, make sure to do that over here. There's also a link in the description down below. Lastly, if you want me to be your coach, if you want me to analyze your posture, identify all of your muscle imbalances that you have, as well as your postural distortions, then go ahead and open up the description down below and hit coaching. Other than that, I'll see you next time.